Greetings everybody, it's the Shadow Justin 99 here, and today, well, it's not going to be gameplay, it's actually going to be a discussion talking about the recent Pokemon Showdown slash, um, Smogan tier changes to, well, Pokemon Showdown. We have a lot of to talk about, and obviously I don't want to do this on my own, so I got my good friend Carlos here. What's up, Carlos? Hello, everyone. Uh, it's me, Carlos, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you guys remember Carlos, but way back last year, we did Kill Bang Mary, and that was actually, we, we actually did fun, and we wanted to do another, another video together. Yep. So, let, let's talk about these tier changes. So, first thing that's up, we have Mega Gardevoirs, we moved from OU to you. Now, what do you think about this, Carlos? Um, it's unfortunate, because I didn't see, I play a lot of OU myself pretty good I swim around the 1500s and even still I don't I don't see any mega Gardevoirs ever pretty much so that's why it went down to Yu Yu I think it'll be good in Yu Yu though I don't think mega Gardevoir is like overpowered in the sense it's a pretty good wall it was really strong though it was no it's, it's a strong Pokemon strong but I don't think it's Pokemon. overpowered by any sense of the means that you could yeah. any Scarfer pretty much takes care of it and on top of that you know any super effective hit pretty much one shots it yeah, that that was that 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 was the thing. For, I mean, for at least for a little bit, I thought it was a pretty a, a little too powerful. But you know, as long when I started learning more competitive Pokemon, I realized you know it's a good wall. It is a really good wall breaker with um, Pixwait Hyper Voice, or if you want to go Yolo Pixwait Hyper Beam. You know, it, it actually it actually is pretty fragile on the physical side. I mean, like most psychic types. It's actually a pretty good special um, special defense wall, actually, if you decide to put some investment into it. Cause I mean, um, its base its base stats aren't that bad e either for, you know, it's the special defense. Plus, Yu Yu need needed more megas, so. Yeah, that's that's true. Yu Yu did need need more megas, so Mega Gardevoir, you know, you know, um, I think it's a it's a pretty reasonable nerf. You, would you say that? Pretty I reasonable? think so too. It's a shame nobody to use it in OU. I think there's too much threats in OU tier. Definitely. Like, like Heatran, there's, um, what's it Tapu called? has been running around. Tapu has been running around. Everything that has a high attack stat, yeah. pretty much. And on top of that, there's a lot of steel types. Celesteela, yeah. oh, I Celesteela, forgot. Celesteela, Mega Scizor. This is insane, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's OU's, OU's is war right now. <laughs> so let's talk about the next one. So let's one. talk about, so Jirachi, speaking of so another <laughs> OU to you, and we have Jirachi. Now, what do you think about this? This is going to be hell. You're gonna run into Scarf Jirachis, Banded Jirachis, the Z Celebrate set. Uh, I think it's gonna get a quick nerf, uh, or a quick ban, because um, in Yu Yu, the Jirachi. I know to what to what tier do you think it's gonna uh, get banned from? It's gonna get moved to BL. I think BL. What what is it called? BL two. BL three. The list BL. that you that you had to use it in OU basically. Uh, cause I, I'm still learning the. BL yeah, the stuff. BLs are complicated, but you basically. I think it's gonna get a quick ban. Um, the only reason why is because Iron Head and Heart Stamp are such annoying moves to deal with because of the 60% fl flinch. And on top of that, its speed tier is actually pretty good. Base 100 speed is nothing to laugh at. I don't know. And then the hit, it gets Fire Punch coverage. It gets all the punches. It gets Calm Mindset. It's it's a scary Pokemon. And hopefully yeah. hopefully it gets banned. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. I can't really have much saying this. I've never really played against any Jirachis or used Jirachi myself, so I really don't have much of a say in this. I'm just going to go with what Carl said and that. No, I've used Jirachi myself. I'm a sinner. I've used Scarf Jirachi. <laughs> or, no, I use Banded Jirachi. Bro, but... I'm a sinner. I use Banded Bulu. Banded Bulu? Yeah. That's not that bad. I mean, yeah, but bro, I've gotten sweeps with that before. That's good. Let's, see. Yeah. Let's, let's move on to the next so one. Next time, oh, you should know a lot about a lot of this. One of your boys up here. Hey. Now, watch it moving from NU to RU. Is you okay, so this. is it moving down? Yeah, it's moving down. Uh, right? or let's check. I, check. I know. UU's moving. I know. You, I think it's actually like the worst tier. So it's actually, I think it's actually going up. What do you mean? RU? UU's like. Yeah. No, UU is right underneath OU. Well, it's moving up a tier, I think. So, so then, it, what do we. Wait. So, so it'd be getting. So it'd be moving up from UU to RU. Because UU is at the bottom. No, 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 look. Yu Yu is right underneath OU, though. Look, yeah. Uh, uh, hold on, we want to see some technical weird, yeah, weird technical the, stuff. Yu mm -hmm. Yu, are you. Oh, so it's getting moved up. Yeah, it's moving up. It's moving up. It's, no, but I'm saying it's moving from N from it's moving N from NU to R. Okay, so it's so, getting moved up. Yeah, it's getting moved up. It's up uh, up. That makes sense. Honestly, Guts was fucking. I mean, boo. <laughs> YouTube ad revenue, please don't boo. kill us. It, it's it's curse. I, 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 I don't bring every curse or not. But uh, it guts is ridiculous. All the guts Pokemon. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I feel like me as a battler, I'm skilled enough to handle a guts Pokemon. 
Because, you know, you just have to hit it with something that's a little faster and something that's super effective. So, you know, that's why you run coverage. I like to run coverage on a lot of my Pokemon. Same here. But, um, I don't know. People seem to have a really hard time dealing with uh, Guts. And I don't know why. Like, I mean, I understand it's a great ability. And, you know, the nerf the nerf to burns, the, the, the burn damage decay, the nerf to that has actually made Guts really good. Because now you only lose, a, what, like 8%? I think. 8% every turn, so instead of the massive, like, 12 or 13 that it was last gen, or 14? Or I don't even know, but it was... You d it's definitely noticeable, and I think it's a right move to move it up. But, uh, I don't think it's... I mean, it'll it'll do fine. Honestly, you know... Possibly, yeah, because, um... No guard, uh... No yeah, guard... You just, yeah, you just took my thing. Yeah, and also, it's, if you don't run Guts, then the no guard, uh... Dynamic punch that is also dynamic punch. That was exactly what I was gonna talk about. I usually use that. That's the set I usually go with when I run my champ. I don't run my, run my champ a lot, but when I do, it's usually uh, the no guard, um, no guard dynamic punch set, which it's good. It's when we go quite a number of battles, honestly. What about focus? I mean, uh, um, what about a uh, no guard choice specs? No focus good. blast. <laughs> Bro, no. man. Is Bro, it we ain't pimp night. That's a <laughs> terrible. That's a terrible set. Don't run it. No. Unless you're Pimp Knight. Unless you're Pimp Knight. <laughs> but um, right, so it's my my champ. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be good in RU. Yeah, it yeah. might it might lose. I think it's right at home in Let's RU. look. Let's look through the RU. Um, just through what RU has to uh, offer. What is RU? Uh, uh, we might as well just do some of that while. Yeah. It's going. Oh well, I'm in RU right now, so I'll just look at this. We got a bomb, Mega Bomb Snow, Aerodactyl. One Rampoli. thing I do see it doing is breaking through the tanks really well. We just move this over here real quick. I see it breaking through all the tanks really well, and I see it having a problem with Dewblade, but then again, what doesn't have a problem with Dewblade? <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's also true, like, yeah. heavy light Dewblade. And Gardevoir's here, so, Gardevoir. you know. Gardevoir. Normal Gardevoir's here, Gl Mega Glaive's here also. Interesting. So yeah, I think it'll have a good time here, honestly. Yeah, I think I think RU is right. I think RU is right. It's right at home in RU, honestly. Mm -hmm. But moving on, we have well, well, we we just talked about this real quick. Well, when we were looking at that, and we have Mega Bane, who also moved up from UU to RU now. Oh, moved down. No, UU's the bottom. Oh, UU, you, no. No, UU. You, look, okay, so yeah, uh, it's UU. UU. Oh. Yeah, moved down. Well. <laughs> Oh no, PU was at the bottom. Yeah, I no. thought I thought you you okay. I I'm I'm learning my theory, so don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me, people. So <laughs> but we move down. This is a scary move because if if it moved down, uh, doesn't it get a prankster when it mega evolves? I think so. I think prankster is its ability when it mega evolves. I can just find Bannet. Just look up Bannet. Uh, right. You're not gonna find it. It's right here. Oh, it is. Yeah, it gets prankster as its mega ability. So prankster Willowus is gonna literally shut down all physical attackers. Um, Definitely. It's kind of spooky. Uh. And looking at how many physical attackers there are, we got Beware here, we got mm. Bruxish here, Chestnut, Cloyster, Rip, Rip, um... Oh, and Dewblade. Dewblade is going to get shot down the Sword Dewblade. Dance set. And on top of that, it can run a power... Well, then again, if you counter it, but, eh. I don't Frog know. Frog or Rip, Frog or D-Dance, which mm -hmm. is the set I use. It, it's going to be really good to shut everything down, and there's very little things that can actually, um... I'll rip my champ also. But, uh... It's, <laughs> Oh, actually not right. We might see a, a rise in Honchkrow or all dark types because you know dark types now counter prankster. Oh yeah, right. So this is this is good. Mega Sharpedo. Is it Mega Sharpedo in the tier? I don't think so. Is Just it? normal Sharpedo. I think Sharp. I think that's Sharpedo. So. Are you? Oh, okay, so and then it's, Mega Sharpedo is you. You. So Sharpedo should be its best counter at the moment. Uh, it also gets gunk shot, which is I mean, it, 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 it gets gunk shot. Yeah. Then again, it does. So that's good for uh, fairies that it can't touch. But I, I don't know. I don't have much to say against this Pokemon. It's always been a cheese Pokemon to me. It always is. It's been like... Um, <laughs> uh, really, like, any Pokemon with Prankster, i.e. Sableye and Bayonet, have always been, like, really annoying on any teams because of, like, their decent bulk and their, you know, their Pranksters. And then, like, as you said, they instantly shut down physical sweepers. You know, they got Toxic. They have Confuse, right? They really just have all these niche moves to try to be annoying as possible. Yeah, it's a good thing that it doesn't carry recovery because if it did, that'd be too that'd overpowered. Be really but, I mean, I think that we're going to have to learn how to get around this one. I personally don't like the Switch, but I do not mind having to le relearn the metagame again just to get around this. I know everyone's going to be using it, though, just for the fact that it shuts yeah. down a lot of things. But it, gets, it does get countered by Mega, or just even normal Absol. So that, there's that to watch out for. That. All right, so moving on from we have our first borderline switch from Moltres is now in RU. What? So what? Are, what are it was from it moves from borderline three to RU now. 
So where's the uh, Moltres side? Moltres is near. It's no, here no, I'm saying uh, where? Moltres is here and are you? So what's what? Uh, I'm sorry. Like what tier was that? Uh, borderline three before. So what is that underneath? <laughs> <laughs> just go to just create. Just there's create. no. Just go, no go, go to OU, go to OU, go to OU, create a team, team builder for OU. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. It's okay. New uh, team. Like, yeah. I go down. Go down. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. So. Ah. It moved up. Okay. So. So kind of. Go OU down. Keep, technology. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Are you right? So move. Go down. Go down. It's in are you now? Uh, okay. So it moved up. It's, um. I think this is good. Moltres, um, honestly, the the bane in, the bane of its existence is stealth rocks. As with both fire types. But uh, it's since it gets cool. the qu- since it gets the uh, half of his HP chewed off right away. It's like Volcarona, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it being used often, just because of how frail it is to rocks, and on top of that, its speed tier, it's decent, but it's not nothing to like go like you know go crazy for. Right. I personally see maybe. An agility set being run, can it? It can run agility, right? I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, agility. Maybe a modest, you know, with all the with all its special attack investment, and then an agility set that might be interesting to see. Um, you know. Definitely, yeah. Um, I again, um, I have, well, one, I haven't been playing 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 Pokemon a lot. Of years. I didn't really need to say okay, I've visited what college and all that, but um, <laughs> I haven't really seen Moltres being used all that much. Um, I remember, I really ran, uh, one time I really run, I, wow, I can't speak, wow. And, um, the one time I really ran into a Moltres was, it was like a really scummy trapping set, it had like fire spin and all this. <laughs> I was just like, wow. That's ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I still won that battle, I do remember that. That set sounds like it's straight booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was booty cheek, bro. I, it, <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not really doing with with freaking trapping Moltres, but <laughs> I don't have much to say about this. Yeah, it's it's okay. I think it people will it'll it'll probably just stay here forever and until the next edition or wave of Pokemon come out and everything has to get uh, changed you know, again. With Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming out, apparently new Alolan forms are gonna be coming out. Oh no! I, supposedly new supposedly. Pokemon. Also a new Pokemon. Oh just really? Just in general. general. Yeah. Huh. We'll see that when that happens. Yeah, when it comes out. Reaction right? later. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go on to the next All one. Alright, so from Ultras, now we have Kingdra from Borderline 3, from, so where Ultra was now. Oh, not yeah. Was now. So it moved, now it moved to OU. It that's moves uh, straight to OU. That's fair. Um, The rising of uh, yeah. Brain Teams with the, with the Swift Swim ability, and then Choice Specs. You could drop Choice Spec Draco. You can you can drop everything. And then on top of that, if you run uh, Sniper, I think. Sniper, yeah. yeah. With uh, the razor claw, or you could even run, you don't even you have to run choice specs. You could just run um, what's that move? Uh, inner focus, or not inner that's focus? Not a, that's an ability. Huh? No, uh, no, no. Uh, inner focus is an ability. Uh, what's that move that makes you uh, focus for critical hits? Focus energy. Focus energy. Yeah, you could run focus energy, and then boom, you can instantly drop Draco's. And then, well, give them focus energy, and then give them life orb again, even or, or life core or razor or Razor Claw, which increases the chance. Or of Razor Claw, yeah, a, that's see, this, this is crazy, you know. Yeah, we're making it better right here. But uh, I think <laughs> this is a fair switch, you know. Kingdra was actually really powerful, and it people was, were sleeping yeah, on it. Yeah, definitely. It depends heavily on the team composition. It does actually. It's by itself, it's not that good. Um, do you remember? I don't know if you ever played any um, any Gen Four, I think. Nah, nah I. I didn't get into comp until Gen 6. Honestly. But in Gen 4, people were running the Dragon Dance, uh, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Rain Dance, and uh, and Dragon Claw, I think, or Dragon, or um, or what's I mean, that move? I mean, um, I mean, it could be a mixed attack. Or, or uh, what's that move? Uh, outrage, yeah. Outrage. Yeah, and then it was, it's, I thought it was the funniest set ever, I don't know why. <laughs> Seeing a, like a little seahorse just charge at you at full strength, just like, uh, wiping, wiping out your whole team right there. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely think um I have fought King Risen in the past before. They've all really have given me trouble, definitely. So I really think that oh that King Risen is really really going to be in the places of the OU. As Carl said, it really does kind of depend on the team comp. So really, um you gotta really if you've ever fought a King Draw, you really just kind of have to either focus on the supporters or King Draw itself, because then that's where like the cookie starts to crumble. Yeah, Toxapex is going to give it a hard time, I see it. Definitely. And, I, I uh, use Toxapex and OU, so... Spadef Toxapex is going to give it a really bad time. I use Spadef Toxapex and OU, look at that. Yeah, no, because uh, cause his Stragos are not going to do much, and then on top yeah. of that, it resists water. 
and Especially ice. if it has like a regenerator, just can keep coming back in. Yeah. And just giving it a hard time. But good change, good change. Good change I agree. Yeah, I, I, I agree with King Trip being an OU. So up next, we have Nihiligo moving down from OU to UU. Um, I think that's fair. Nihiligo didn't have much of a place in OU just because of its speed tier. Once yeah. again, it's fast, but it's not you know it's not fast it as was, fuck boy. Yeah. It, it's. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing, here's the thing. Really, people only use, really use Nico Lego as a Stealth Rocker set. Yeah, the Stealth Rock Focus Sash set. Stealth Rocker so, Focus Sash. I've then, tried using a Sweeper, but honestly, it's really, it's really hard, hard to do. I don't know why. It, it seems easy. Like, in retrospect, you're like, oh, yeah, you know, just speed really through does. everything and then just gain, keep getting special attack boost, but it's not that simple. It really isn't. So, I I, I could see it as being, being a good change. Nico Lego. Yeah, it'll, it, de- it, it'll definitely shake up, and you know, yeah. it it has really good speed tier in you in the in the in next year it's going. Yeah, in you, you, it has really good special attack. So we could possibly possibly see go see Nihilo go ni- wow Nihiligo going from a a self rocker supporting set suicide lead to a uh, possible possibly a sweeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, under that's actually pretty accurate. So we'll see if its role changes, but I actually agree with this change a lot. Yeah, definitely so that's, Nihiligo, that's, I think maybe that's a good change. So next we have Mantine who moves who's moved from R U to U U. What's Mantine doing? Mantine is the Manta Ray. Manta Ray. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they move what up? Or I. Th- they go so up? It, it, moved it, up. it moved from uh, R U to U U. Yeah, it moved up. Damn. So yeah, it moved up. Uh, yeah. a Spadef tank, a Defogger. Oh, that's a nice shiny. It's it's interesting, you know. I, this Pokemon for me, I I would never run it because the quad weakness to electric. Yeah. Every team, in my opinion, packs an electric move and a rock move. These, these, this thing yeah. on this on the physical defense side, a stone edge, you're dead. You're dead. Thunderbolt, you're dead, pretty much. I mean, and since literally every electric type, or if oh, his thing, if it can have a, a thunderbolt, it probably will have thunderbolt on its set. Mhm. But yeah, you know, um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, right. I I think it's a good tank in its scenarios. People know how to use it better than me. I personally never knew how to use this Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna be honest here. I really thought that Mantine, both Mantine and Pelipper, would um, see a lot more usage ever since about like the um, the buff, right? The buff with like Roost or was it? Oh no, Drizzle. No, no. Uh, they actually well, Pelipper got the buff. The buff. Uh, he got a, the ability Drizzle. He got Drizzle. Which and I think uh, he I'm was actually sure. you for a while. And I think Man Mantine, uh, I think he just got a stat buff overall. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Samantha ain't got a stat buff, so people are like, oh, these guys are gonna be really good now. But now look at this. I think it's all right. That it, I think yeah. it makes sense that it moved up. People are you people like to use it as a defogger, as a roost staller, toxic scalds. You know, you can throw off scalds and stuff. I, I don't know. I, it's a good Pokemon. It's just not for me. But yeah, I agree with the change like, regardless. Moving up in yeah. the world, you know. So yeah, maybe we'll see better. some more Manta in use in the future. Who knows? So next we have uh, Mega Gallade moving down from OU to UU. Uh, oh, Mega Gallade. Well, it's a boy. Well, they gotta just update that. But Mega Gallades are now in UU. This makes sense. I n- never ran into that many Gallades, and people who try to use it say that it loses out to a lot of things. It loses out to a Pinsir. Normal or Mega? Uh, Mega, Mega Pinsir. Mega Pinsir. Yeah, because of the quick attack oh, and its yeah. weakness to flying. Aerial light. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it loses out to a lot of the other Megas. Um, it doesn't provide as much punch as the other Megas. Even though despite it, despite its crazy attack stat, it actually doesn't provide. It's 165. You know, after one sword dance, you could pretty much achieve the same result with any other Pokemon. Sure, you could run sword dance on this, but if it had just a little bit better speed, I think it could be a great yeah, contender. Yeah. But honestly, Definitely. it's moving down. I think it'll be really powerful in the tier. I'm not sure if it's gonna get quick banned. I don't think. I don't think so. But it does I look could, really good I in the new tier. I can definitely team. see like it getting out like potentially. For some reason, I'm thinking Scarf Bat can take it out, like Scarf Crobat. Yeah, Scarf Crobat with a uh, with a uh, Brave Bird definitely takes Scarf it out. Brave. Yeah, Crobat's it's, it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So, so yeah, yeah it's it's uh, I I not like I don't know I don't know how to feel about the change. I think I have to see some some yeah. usage first. Yeah, we have definitely see some before we can get. But it's gonna be a monster. I just know that in the new tier that it's in, it's gonna be it's really in strong. Sh- you know. All yeah, right. it's gonna be really strong. So Tornadus is now in Are You? It's moved so, from You You. And moved down. So I never really seen a lot of tornadoes to be honest. Uh, tornadoes is actually like my I'm sorry, but no. uh, it's actually uh, my least use of the three genies. Like um, I um, thunderous I usually use it as a life warp sweeper, 
with like with Sans with Sandstorm actually because I'm original kind of but uh <laughs> and Thunderous I kind of I kind of have as like offensive utility because it has Prankster well they all have well I don't know if um, Landris has Prankster but uh, I know Thunderous has Prankster and so I, I usually give it Taunt which actually shut down so shut down a lot of support mods which is good and then you know um so it, it basically ran it as um offensive support now tornadoes i actually really have almost no experience with or prior use to so i really don't have much say when it comes to this i don't know if you do Carl. yeah i've used a tornadoes recently uh they've been seeing additions on rain teams tornadoes are really good for rain because of prankster and then you carry water mz and then uh, you go for the Z rain dance, or you can just go for rain dance. You can go for, and then you can carry a hurricane. You know, you carry moves like that. You can carry knockoff. You can carry superpower. It's an interesting Pokemon. Personally, I do see it. It moved down. You said right? Yeah, I believe so. It just moved down because of usage, but uh, I no. think it might get quick banned because I don't see it staying in RU. I think it's way too powerful for RU. Possibly, yeah. But uh, so people people sleep on tornadoes just because I think out of all the all the the three genies, he's the least popular one. But yeah. uh, you know, but see that actually seems to be the case. Landorus is the most the most popular, popular one for obvious reasons. Specifically, it's Therian form, but I use uh, the regular. Oh no, no, incarnate form is the yeah. dog form. I personally re prefer the Therian form to genie form mm -hmm. over it. And that's that. Now we have a really interesting change here. How Lucha is now an OU. Oh, I saw this coming. We really have. I'm really. I like I said. I really. A lot. A lot of these mods, I really don't use a lot. No, this is this was a long time coming. Uh, if you were in, uh, if you were in UU playing against a Halucha, you pretty much automatically lost if you didn't kill it the first round, or if you didn't carry a voice or something that can go through substitutes. Because with an amazing speed tier of 118, why did they give this thing 118 speed? <laughs> That's insane. It's a lucha. It's a lucha. It's a lucha libre. No, but that speed is literally insane. But uh, it it's actually really good. Um, the the set that it ran was a substitute sword dance, uh, citrus berry, acrobatics, and high jump kick. That's uh, it literally took care of everything. It broke through uh defensive walls. I don't know. This Pokemon really yeah. kicks ass, and uh, I think in OU it might have a little bit of a hard time keeping up with the big boys, but. We should definitely see yeah. it. We should definitely not have low expectations of it. So if you're taking it, so if, let's see, I'm going to go off of which, what you said. So maybe OU is probably where it is. I really don't think it's going to be in the borderline, those yeah. weird borderline tiers. OU, um, if it's if it's true that what you said is like a serious wall breaker, then I think OU is going to be a good place. However, judging by stats, it, it is a bit frail, but so it's sort of going to be like a speedy glass cannon type of mod to be running. Yeah, no, that's why they run substitute and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, it's it's a, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, not really, a lot of, not a lot of mods actually get infiltrator. Which yeah, is no, that's thing. that's also a good thing. But we have to see, we have to see. Uh, we we have, we have to see how it performs. I personally have faith in Halucha. I'm not sure that many people do, because OU is the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, but uh, we'll see if it, if, I, I I do think people might not might sleep on it, and it might go down to BL one. So we'll it w it won't get used in UU because you know it's gonna get it got banned it got probably that's why it, it, that's why it got banned it was too powerful. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. You know, it's actually Carl's. Actually, he was playing a match earlier. Why does it show up like that? Oh no, because I didn't refresh it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I didn't refresh it. So yeah, that's just like that because I haven't refreshed it. All right, so Halucha is an OU now. We'll see how that how that works out for it. Alright, so up next we have another ban. Uh, we have another um, decrease. Uh, Mega Ampharos is now in UU. Uh, this makes sense. Ampharos is a. Uh, uh, it, it's strong, but slow. It has Mold Breaker. And it's, well, yeah, first of all, it's Way too amazing slow. special attack, but it's uh, terrible speed. And on top of that, its HP is pretty frail. On, spe on the special defense side, it's pretty good, but on the physical. Not so much. An earthquake, you pretty much knock it yeah. out. An ice punch, pretty much. It, once in a mega evolves, but uh, I do like yeah. this. Uh, we could, we might be seeing this on a trick room team. You yeah, know, that can be really good actually. That's Especially gonna get with things like a Lolan Muck and OU. Yeah, and then on top of that, you know, it, this thing special attacks or I don't know. I I like this Pokemon. You know, the hair and everything. It's, it's really Fabio. cute. It's Fabio. Fabio, yeah. <laughs> 
Fabio, but uh, if you do, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, we'll have to see how it performs. I personally think it's a good. It's a. It was a switch that we all saw coming because you know no one uses an OU. Not I, really. Yeah, I've, I've I've played a lot of OU and I actually really haven't seen Mega and Frogs. Yeah, Mega's the HEC, you know the usuals like Scizor and even for a while Gallade. Yeah, but see, I think I think the switch is good. So let's see. Which is why I always carry a fire side move on, on OU teams. <laughs> All right, so up next we have Mega Latias, another another Mega moving from OU to UU. That's, Mega Latias. That's gonna get quick banned, ASAP, Rocky. Uh-huh. This, this is gonna get like Latias, okay. Yeah, it's gonna get quick banned so bad. It is. This thing is way too stance. strong. This thing is a this thing is an uber level Pokemon, <laughs> basically. Oh, so why is it? Ugh. It, okay. it it belongs in OU. This is no one uses it in OU. Understandably, why? But it has no place in UU. This thing is way too strong. Uh, people are running um, max defense with Calm Mind, and uh, as as you see, it has natural speed. So all you have to do is run a little bit of speed. But they they run max defense, max speed, Calm Mind, or max max HP even. Uh, this thing is scary. It drops Dracos. Uh, it it gets Psy Shock. It gets Surf, Flamethrower. It gets a lot of coverage. This thing is intense. What do you have to? Oh, and also gets roost. Oh yeah, so yeah, definitely. Uh, Megalodia is a mon I have faced a lot of in the in the past, but because my OU team is actually a bit a bit versatile, like it, like it um they really have a lot of good of great synergy together, and since um there's a lot of bulk to it, it it can generally handle that also. But that's just me being a def- a very defensive player. I can't imagine like really like offensive players who really are like or really or, like their main focus is just to go in, hit hard. So, you know, switch out to have good synergy with each other, but there's not really like not much to defense. I could definitely see that giving a lot of hard time with its amazing stats, one, base one ten speed and all and all that. So yeah, def- this was definitely like a big threat. I'm really, I don't understand this change honestly. I think it was fine exactly where it was. Yeah, little, no, and the the, the, addition, the fact that this thing can attack your Pokemon from both Spadef and physical defense. With the side shot. With side shot, exactly. That that's just crazy. Cause the thing is, you know, you you send out a special wall and they get like side shot, and then like bless you what do you do? You send out a die. physical wall and then you get Draco and, and, and you then get Draco you die. <laughs> and then and then you're sad. I guess. The, <laughs> I, but I can see one of the biggest counters to this thing is just throwing a toxic on it. That's pretty it's much trying to kind of toxic on it. But uh, you know, a substitute. This thing could run substitute too, and that that that's even scarier to think about. Sub roost. Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse maybe, or just Psyshock Shock or something. Heck of both if you don't want to love, lose the special. We'll, decent, we'll see. Special this is this is an interesting this choice that they choice. made. I don't agree with it. I don't. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens. I it's really going to probably think. get moved to BL, just BL1. P- probably. So up next we have a, a big change actually from Manaphy, who was in BL1, I believe. And now it's now an OU. It's like permanently an OU? Well, it's an OU, yeah. Well, BL1 and OU are the same tier, in a sense. Uh, but well, it just says BL in general. Yeah, no, BL1, BL... They're the same tier, but it makes sense. Manaphy on ring teams... Uh, really puts in work. Really puts in work. And, of course, Tail Glow. Tail Glow with the Water EMZ. You could even run Rain Dance also. So you can get the... Sp- it, uh, it's it's most meta set would be a Z Rain Dance. Then you go for Tail Glow, then you go for Surfs, and then you just kill everything. It gets Energy Ball for a coverage of things that would have been able to get hit by water. It's, and uh, it's that's, a, that's pretty it's much it. An, I don't know if you said this, I kind of sounded out there for a bit, but Hydration, you, like, you can't like Toxic Solid in the slightest, so you're really just going to have to go in full force. Yeah, you got to go full force, and then you might have to paralyze it or something, but you got to find a way to kill this thing, or else it will find a way to kill your entire I haven't team. I have been swept by before. It was not fun in the slightest. I really think it... It deserves to be up here and know you because of its, not only because of tail glow that's most probably said, but you know it can also be a good water type even without tail glow. Uh, this baby looking motherfucker <laughs> kills all your Pokemon. What are you doing? What are you doing? Man? You, you're crying. <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> and then man, if you cr- it it drinks for your tears or whatever. Oh, fun doing. fact. Um, um, what's it called? Manaphy and all the baby legendary Pokemon are literally the closest things to Arceus. Oh, yeah. Because Ar- they all have base 100 stats, and then Arceus has base 110, right? I think. Well, well I'm curious. Oh, well. 120. Oh, 120. So, see, they're the, they're the closest that? thing that exists to 
Uh, it's something. Right, this so morning. Babe, I agree with this change. You agree with this change, Carlos? I agree. All right, yeah. We both agree on that. Next up is Her Mega Heracross actually moving to another Mega in, in UU. Mega Heracross. I saw this coming. Um, Right now, people, well, in OU, they were running the max defense set, try to have some bulk, and then with the sword dance. Uh, Skill Link, uh, I like this Pokemon. I personally think it's really strong. I don't see it getting banned, though. I just see people trying yeah. to find ways to deal with it. Yeah, me, usually when I say Mega Heracross, my first instinct is that it has Bullet Seed. That's usually my first instinct. Bullet instinct. Seed, Rock Blast, you know, Pin Missile, and then a close yeah. combat at the end to just top or it off. Or Mega Horn, or whichever you prefer. Mm -hmm. To each their own. But definitely, yeah, um, if you took it, if you look, take a look at it, amazing, amazing attack. Base 185, it's really high attack, so... Things like Mega Horn, Close Combat, or like I said, any of the multi-hitting moves, well, which will always be five times, are going to be yeah. really thing. a, a real and thing. And they're even, they've even been carrying Facade in case you try to burn them. Yeah, I would run Facade on this, definitely. So, <laughs> this is actually a really good Pokemon. It's going to get countered hard by uh, Mega Gardevoir and Mega uh, Glade. But, I mean... If you can take those guys out, the other team is pretty much... Its defense isn't all that bad either. It's, it's, it's defensive yeah, If you can take out those guys, though, or the opponent's uh, psychic-type Pokemon or flying-type Pokemon, then it, literally all the other ones are just food for Mag Mega Heracross. Definitely. I agree with the change, though. I think it's a little extreme, a little bit, but people will people will learn to deal. People will learn to deal. Maybe, like, Scarfed something. I don't know. Yeah, something... S something with Choice Scarf. A, probably a Brave you know. Bird. <laughs> choice Scarf. I was thinking, like... Choice scarf, um, mon flying mon with good attack, and then brave bird, like town flame. I don't know. Yeah, that 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 would automatically kill since it's four times weak to flying. That, but, um, that that was a, that that's probably why it got moved down. Yeah, I mean, there's not many flying type attacks, but then there is at the same time. I mean, for uh, quad weak doesn't automatically mean you're gonna get banned. I mean, look at he right, he went quad resistant. I mean, quad weak to ground, being it, it's all up there in OU. But yeah, let's move on to let's the next Let's move on one. to that. Yeah. Uh, so next we got uh, Drapion moving from NU to RU. Now, so I play a lot. I play some Drapion. Down? Drapion? I'm just going to Drapion all the places. It moved down, right? And, yeah. Uh, Rototo, NU to RU. It moved down. And you, oh, no, it moved up. Oh, moved up. It moved up. Oh, okay. So, interesting. So it's, a, it's a bit surprising because I don't see Drapion being used all that much. I, I mean, I've been using Drapion a lot lately. I've been using like this kind of quote-unquote scummy critting set. Like Razor Call and like high critting accuracy moves like Night Slash, cross but poison, um, okay. Cross Poison and, and all that. But the uh, as much as I, I do like Drapion, it 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 and it has good good um, physical defense. It's, it's spit F really kind of hurts it. Its HP isn't all that good either. It has decent speed for a Poison type. A lot of Poison types are usually slow and bulky. Which I mean, which I mean, Drapion I feel like is kind of right in the middle of that, where it's not you know like incredibly slow, but it's not incredibly fast either. I feel like it's like right in that halfway point. But uh, Drapion, if you know, you know, if you're not being me and, and like experimenting, you can kind of like yeah. try some old, try some old things. It can actually be a pretty decent mod here. If you look at its abilities, uh, um, you know, Battle Armor, which kind of ensures you that you know you can't be struck by a critical hit. Keen Eye, I mean. It, I mean, a lot of people say that Drapion has some pretty bad abilities because they're kind of like, um, what's it, like situational or you know, yeah, circumstantial, cir or circumstantial, yeah. But you know, you know, I feel like because uh, here's the thing, I really well, like five percent of Pokemon in general is RNG, so of course you never know because you never know. So Drapion's always like a good like cautious mon. If you don't want to play cautious, you could do what I do and just slap a choice scarf on it. <laughs> That's um, true also. It has really great coverage. Uh, it lacks the ability to one-shot things, but I like the effect that it really can two-shot most things. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it could, it could two-shot most things. I, I agree with the change, although I think it might be... I think uh, not a lot of people are going to use it, personally, because it's just... I don't think it's a hard Pokemon to use, but I just think that people just like their alter the alternative options a little more. Uh, they like the results of like a question. Yeah, so... But I like, you know, this is good for Drapion. Let's see how it performs. I don't think it'll perform badly. Yeah. I think it'll do good. I've always thought Drapion was a very underrated mon, so we'll see how this how it works out for it. Yeah. Alright, so up next we got a, a Mega Bombsnow moving down, actually, from UU to RU. Uh, 
Mega Abomasno is garbage, so this is understandable. <laughs> uh, its speed tier is terrible, and even on Trick Room teams, it doesn't hit hard enough on either end, so it doesn't hit hard enough on special attack or physical attack and to really to one. Yeah, its move no. pool is limited as hell. It's a uh, excuse me. Um, it, it gets Woodhammer, which is pretty decent. Blizzard inside uh, the Snow Warning is pretty good. But uh, you know, with all the yeah. with all the bulk and all the tanks, they yes. they pretty much shut down Obama yeah. Snow. Its ability isn't that good either. Snow warning is really just the only use. You only see it for like crippling mons or for hail teams. But, but outside of that, that snow warning is not really that good of an ability. I mean, I it's, it's, uh, uh, the switch is good though. Hopefully, you know, yeah. it'll find a nice pl I, place in. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Because the thing is, it's quite weak to, to fire when fires are very common offensive typing. Oh, it's also weak to rock. It's also weak to um. Yeah, it's a lot. It's weak to lot. That's a lot of weaknesses. Which it's is weak to steal. It's weak to bug. It's weak to poison. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's weak to everything. It's weak to a lot. It's. I think. Uh, I don't think it's weak to flying, but uh. I think it is. No, I, I think know. it is. I don't even know, but this thing, this thing is weak as fuck for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like Mega Bomb Snow. It's a, it's, a, it's really bad though for me. I think it's not a good Pokemon just for the fact that it lacks. It doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> yeah, it tries to be bulky, but it, it, it fails miserably at it because of its, of its mediocre. It's, it's mediocre defenses and the fact that it, that it's typing. It's it, so it's, bad it, for it's, defense. It's, it's, cha it's the same as normal Bomb Snow. And normal Bomb Snow is by itself. Is you know what they would have been cool if they would have given this thing like an ability like probably like called like hard ice where it treats the ice like a steel type. Yeah. That would have been interesting. So like a pixel weight kind of. No, yeah. no, it, it just treats like it's ice typing as a steel type defensively. So ah. it's a, it's basically like a ferrothorn, but it gets stab ice move. You know. Yeah, that that'd be that'd be cool. So yeah, so definitely like like the main weakness with the Mega Bomb Snow is it's typing. It, it didn't change anything for Mega Bomb. For normal bomb snow and normal bomb snow is already weak to a lot of the common types like fire, and yeah. po and poison. Uh, trick room teams, it'll see a lot of usage on those. Definitely, right. that, that's probably time. the only thing. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so pre okay, so yeah, pretty much same thing. Oh no, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so, okay, that was looking at the wrong thing. So Decidueye, I right, which mod is that again? Move down. Move down from UU to RU. What the heck is Decidueye again? Decidueye. Oh yeah, it's yeah, that's, it's, that's, it's uh, this, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, the, it's uh. It's uh, everyone's favorite starter. Is it are you now? It's um, it moved down. People weren't using it as much at the beginning. They were because of the hype of you know Decidueye. Yeah, Ral. Yeah, everyone was like, oh, it's uh, it's it. Z move is trash. Um, I think the only set that's even viable is a Spadef tank. With assault vest, even probably, or a Fizz Def with assault assault vest. But you, you should be or a Defogger. You can run this as a really solid Defogger. You could run, uh, you can run a uh, spirit shackle, defog, um, roost. You could run a lot of things, you know. But I think that yeah. this is a support heavy Pokemon, and uh, it really is. It's gonna find a nice home in its new tier. It's new tier. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, I mean, long. Obviously, everyone's gonna be using long reach. Yeah. So everyone thought, like, oh, long reach and spirit shackle is broken. Like, but it's not really broken if you just take a, take a moment to really think about it. Cause I mean, yeah, if, like flame body. Doesn't affect it in the slightest, but you know, Will O' Wisp is still a thing. Does it Will get sword dance? I don't even think it gets. It's nasty. No, it does. does okay. It gets also nasty one, I think too. It gets, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. So yeah, if you don't want to run support, which you should be running support on Decidueye, there's really no other set you should be running. But okay, <laughs> there's those choices. Um, but I think it's good. Let's move on to the next. Right. One. So up next we have Meloetta. We well, well, we were talking about this before the video. Um, but so Miller is and moved from on borderline three to are you now? Yeah, I mean, I guess people like this Pokemon because it's really strong. It hits strong once it changes its form, but the setup that it's required, it, it's pretty. You know, yeah. you, you require to waste a turn basically, and but you get the 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 reward is good. But then again, it, you could still get outsped by other things. You know, you're weak to priority. Um, it's it's an interesting yeah. Pokemon though. As, as you can see by its stats, yeah, definitely. It says it can be a really good spit of tank, and its special attack is really good also. But the fact is that, I mean, it's normal psychic, and fighting, it's... I mean, it's not that uh, common um, typing you see, but when you do, it, it really is going to give Meloetta a lot of trouble. And even though Meloetta is part psychic, you really don't see many psychic moves beyond. Like, you don't see psychic, you don't see Shy Shy Shock. 
really kind of like being used as any as anything but as a as a um, sweeper from um, at least from my experiences. But definitely, um, I think this change was kind of, was kind of a thing because Meloetta was. I think people kind of overestimated Meloetta a little too much. I mean, Meloetta still has potential. When it changes its form. When it changes its form. Its form, definitely. But I think people just kind of overestimated it a little too much. Like I said, it could still be good. It's just not as good as people think it is. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Alright, so we got... Up next, we have... Uh, Dragonite. We got Dragonite, yep, from Borderline to OU. I mean, that makes no difference, because bo- Borderline is OU, but uh, <laughs> there's not much to talk about this. It's Dragonite's di- in it. It's Diet OU. It's Diet OU, yeah. Uh, but it's a good Pokemon. I don't see... People don't use it just because of the fact that every th- every team runs HP Ice. You cannot have an OU team without HP Ice. <laughs> So you know that's 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 a thing. Uh, rocks are a thing. Uh, so it's focus Self scale gets thing. fucked up really easily. The multi scale, multi scale, yeah. So uh, you know, it, it's a good Pokemon though. I personally like running um the set uh weakness policy with multi scale, Dragon Dance, um, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Iron Head. I know it's 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 bad. No stab and shut up. It's a good set. No, no, the T's turn on. All right. It's a good set. Trust me, you'll. It it, uh, it it covers the Bulus, it covers Thunder um Landorus, yeah, especially and it covers all the all the bulky steel types. Yeah, and so. those those are some really big ones with top. I remember, oh, you remember those days where Tapu um, uh, what's it? Tuspini, Coco, Tabu Bulu. Fini. I think Tapu Fini was. No, 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 Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele, that's the, that's the pink one, right? Oh yeah, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele was just running around everywhere. So, yeah. Dragon, so, even yeah, so yeah, um. Yeah, it did get um, fairy moves, but because it's 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 fairy and psychic, it's psychic fairy. Yeah, it, it literally destroyed a lot of teams, it but was, that's, we went. found out how to deal with it. Yes, so. oh yeah, and that was that. But yeah, as you could said, as you said, um, I definitely feel like the boot um speci- the the, the um, taboo specifically Coco was gonna give it a bit of a hard time up in oh yeah because yeah, Coco's it's no faster than him. just being fast it's and fast hard. as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's that. Well, so other than that, it can, um, does it get flamethrower? This thing? Yeah. Yeah, it gets fire it's blast. Like, it gets, well, it, it fire moves, so, that, and so that's that. It gets, I think it, it even gets fire punch, too. Yeah, as long as it gets a fire move, because, you know, that takes up care for Rothorn are very commonly and used too. OU. Fair, for Rothorn and Scissor are very commonly used OU Pokemon. Um, oh, yeah, I like this chain. Yeah, I, I feel mean, like I, it, it made no difference, because you couldn't use it in any <laughs> other tier, but... You know, I I guess it's it's finally time that Dragonite got the recognition it deserves. Yeah. All right. So up next we got Mega Absol moving down from you. No, to No. What? That's insane. Why? Why did they do this? Yep. Mega Absol is now in Are you? They. Everyone used Mega Absol. <laughs> I saw so many Mega Absols <coughs> and I oh dab. <laughs> Bless you. Bless Sorry. You. Sorry about sick that. boy. I mean. <laughs> Damn. Uh, editing. Bleep, bleep is <laughs> Oh, anyway, he's anyway. sick boy. But uh, I probably just got that out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. Carlos seems to be very sad about this. You want to explain why? Uh, I don't know. I saw Mega Assholes running pretty good. You know, I saw them a lot of the time when I was playing my UU. I mean, it it was a good Mega. It counters the crap out of Beedrill. It does, honestly. Um. It counters um, any, sup- any like... Yeah, not to mention wow. its speed tier is pretty good. I think it's going to get banned from the tier that it's going into, personally. Yeah. It isn't, it's it's way too strong for that tier. It, it was right at home. I don't know. They, I cannot back this decision. I do not fuck with it. Hmm. <laughs> I was just saying, I was, when I saw Mega Absol, when I, when I saw a normal Absol, I automatically knew it was going to be Mega. Mm-hmm. And since I usually like to set up... Um, uh, hazards and all that, it's my rocks. You know, I really have, my first priority would probably be to take out the Mega Absol, because um, I saw Mega Absol being used like Espeon as like a magic bounce, like anti, um... Oh, like a Zatu, right? Or, or Zatu is like an, an, as like an anti-hazards, ha- anti-hazard one, but I see also seen, I saw seen that along, and people combine it with like Swords Dance. Yeah, I know, once the, the Sword Dance Sucker everything. Punch knockoff combo is insanely scary. I don't know. This thing is way too powerful. It gets super power. It gets play rough. That's insane. There's no way that it, this is gonna stay in the in the tier it's going into. I think Yu Yu is was its, its, its home. But uh, yeah. enough ranting about this. It, it is what it is. 
So up next we have Mega Altaria moving down from OU to UU. Well, lots of lots of Megas are getting down to the UU. So UU, UU needs more Megas. So yes, this is good. I I appreciate this. Uh, this thing is a monster with Dragon Fairy. It really only has its fairy weaknesses. Uh, Does it be nice? Does it really get nice? No, it's uh, it's neutral. And actually, no, it's weak to ice. My bad. But, but I mean, it has its weaknesses as poison, st uh, steel, and ice. But that's it. Literally, the only weaknesses it has three. Um, which you can run coverage against those moves. It does learn earthquake. It does learn fire type moves. The big one being it can learn cotton guard. And it can learn cotton guard. Yes, which that's is insane. That's gonna be a, a tanky thing. Pokemon. It learns roost. It has self healing. Gonna be an interesting one seeing how people run it because it also runs dragon dance. You know, it, this thing has a lot of uh, a lot of variation, and I'm glad that I'm glad to see it in UU. I think yeah. I'll be using it on a few yeah. teams myself, maybe. Mega Altaria is me wow, wow, wow. Mega Altaria has always been giving me trouble. Whenever I see one, usually it's usually like a, a offensive cotton guard set. And at least at least for a time, I was just kind of in a physical attacking set. Um, I'm kind of more like mixed now to kind of add some variety to it, but. Usually, when I see an Altaria, it usually would be the reason I lost a match because it would it would just set up all those cotton guards. Mm -hmm. It's actually the reason I run Haze a lot now, but <laughs> but that that that's a personal problem of mine. But um, so yeah, <laughs> the, it sets up cotton guards and then um, it would literally just be unkillable on the on the physical side. So you would just have to either stall it out with Toxic or Will O Wisp or whatever, and then, or try to take it out on the spe on the special side. I mean, its speed. It. I mean, I, th I think its speed is kind of what kills it a little bit. I mean, yes, HP base eighty is not that bad, but he's think it's not that good either. So it can get outsped by quite a number of mods, even slow mods with cho with um a choice scarf equipped can give it some hard uh, time. Give it some hard time. What's that Pokemon? Uh, Sneasel. Sneasel's a mon, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, the, is that the evolved one? Weavile is evolved. Weavile, one. Weavile. Yeah, this thing is gonna be scared shitless of Weavile. The ice shard and the ice icicle crash with the speed. Oh man! Choice scope we about ever getting over a ton. Yeah, so that's gonna so, be yeah. insane. Yeah, so, no, yeah. it's a good. It's a good it, it can be. It, it can be good. It does have its fair share for sure weaknesses, but I think Mega Altaria. You yeah. wanna see how lazy Pokemon is? How lazy is Pokemon? Uh, instead of giving uh, Altaria any fairy type moves, they just gave it Pixelate, so it's normal type <laughs> moves with substitute. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oh, it has Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, yeah. And Moonblast. So. Oh, I just take, uh, I just <laughs> ate my words. No. Jesus, you put your money where your mouth is. All right, so here's another extra, extra one kind of affects me a little bit because I have to mix, mix some things. Alumna Ninetales is now an OU. I kind of saw this coming. I kind of saw this coming, honestly. This is a very this is a very meta mod. No matter what tier you're playing, if... Mm, Little Night Tales can be it, and most likely it will be. This Aurora thing, Veil is broken. Aurora Veil, this thing would have Aurora Veil, the screens with light clay. Aurora Veil is broken. And I repeat, and Aurora Veil is broken. <laughs> <laughs> if you use this monster, you're just a bad person. <laughs> Aurora Veil is broken. That's all I need to be said for Carl, so I'll be taking over for this one. So yeah, as I, as a person who used to use um, Alolan... Nantios quite a bit when uh, Yu Yu or oh, was it Yu Yu? Uh, the low, low, lowest tier first. It no, it wasn't Yu Yu for for the or PU whatever. The majority of the season it wasn't Yu Yu for PU, but whatever, whatever tier it was on. So that that was that for that. So that, as I said, I kind of use the um, the standard set of light light clay personal personal item of mine. Um, Aurora Veil and the screens, and then I think I'm at freeze dry on it also. Which I yeah I think that was my set that I ran and then it I, it was a spit F tank variety, yeah, so that was really it. For water flying on ground, water Pokemon. Yeah, if definitely for like the t like low tiers for it when Kamba when bulky water mounts were everywhere, freeze drive was really good. Well, yeah, definitely I definitely kind of agree with it. Kind of agree with this. It has really it has pretty it has good speed in base one oh nine. Um, so it can really just start setting up Aurora Veil along with the screens, and then it'll be. A, and it, you get basically for at least for eight turns, you can have to deal with a lot of your opponent's bonds being really bulky. Aurora Veil is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Question. That's all it needs to be said about Ninetales. But also overall, I agree with this change. Yeah. All right. So up next we have Quagsire, Quag, Mr. Quagmire, Quagsire, who is now who moved from NU to RU. So he moved. What? So I'm gonna say down. 
And you, so are you. No oh, moves up. Oh. So. Damn. Huh? So, Quag so. Uh, Whoa, okay. I agree with this change. Quagsire is a monster, unaware. I was using it in a match literally like before we made this video. Yeah, yeah. And I made the opponent rage quit. I felt so bad. Yo, he, was, he, he, he literally took out Curse Lex. Oh, yeah, I took out Curse Lex, by the way, which is interesting. You can counter Curse Lex with uh, unaware because, you know, they run Spadef investment instead of actual defense investment. So a few earthquakes should uh, do the job. And the fact that it can't break through you because the only stab yeah. it carries is normal. And then a fire punch. For some reason, they carry fire punch. Terrible idea, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I really feel like this this is a good change for Quagsire. Like, uh, b definitely its biggest weakness is its speed and its quad weakness to grass. But if you, if you watch out, you'll be able to, you know, you'll, you'll be able to detect the grass snipe from a mile away. Yeah, and, yeah. You're careful. Yeah, and you just really have to consider some mods might have hidden power grass, so... If you, if you play around that grass weakness and it's really bad speed, Quag Quagsire is actually not that bad of a Pokemon. It's a good like um, anti Stallmon, so it can really just so it really just shuts down anything that that tries to set up like curses or or iron defenses on you with my, unaware. It's one of my favorite tanks, and I think the switch the 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 increase made sense. I I agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to so, rework a lot of my teams now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, so up next we got Frostlass moved from RU to NU. No, so Frostlass down. actually moved, moved down. down. I actually haven't seen Frostlass yeah. and all that much. I actually see the the other one clearly. F Focus Ash, Spikes, Stealth Rocks, all that stuff. It was a uh, yeah. That was the thing about Frostlass. That's pretty standard. Uh, I think the fact that uh, wh check what tier Frost f Fortress is in. Uh, Fortress. Ooh, that's wrong. Fortress is in Yu Yu. What? Oh, okay, never mind then. But, um, I don't know. I just think other Pokemon do its job better. I like it as a setter upper. I think it's okay. I agree with the change. I think it'll find a good home here in its new tier. Yeah, definitely. I used um, Frostlass a bit back in Gen 6. And honestly, it wasn't that great. I actually prefer Glalie over Frostlass in general. Even like competitive status sets set aside, I actually prefer Glalie better. And guess what? Glalie has a Mega Form. Okay, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, Fr Frostlass has always been kind of a mediocre mod to me. I feel like, um, other mods do a better job. Other lower tier mods do a, do a better job as a Hazard Setter, main one being Fortress because of its immense bulk. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. Frostlass might find somewhere else useful as something. I don't know. But for now, really no comments much for Frostlass. So up next we have a really interesting change. Smeargle is now in UU, formerly in OU. That's not a good idea. Smeargle was always a danger to mankind. Because of Sketch. Because of Sketch. Um. It always ran Focus Sketch. I was pretty yeah, much guaranteed. It's, it's a danger to humans. It's uh, a danger. It, it was. It was always like a first up or up first upper. And the thing is with the with um. <laughs> Sorry. With Magic Bounce. Oh, not Magic Bounce. Uh. It's, a, it's like a it's a move that bounces a no no um it's a move oh it's a move it's I don't know, I forgot the, a magic what? screen or something I don't know mm. magic Ma oh, what? Uh, magic coat bounces back so yeah, non damaging magic moves coat. magic coat uh you literally couldn't do anything about it except kill it so you, you're forced to damage it but uh since it runs magic coat if you try to set up on this thing like in terms of a uh, in terms of you know your own your own entry hazards, it's gonna backfire instantly. Um, it gets sticky web, it gets spore, uh, it gets everything. It gets basically everything. This is basically like the ultimate, like I think setter they upper. Keep, they should keep this like one time you. setter upper. They should keep this in OU. Honestly, I I can't agree with this change. I think people in UU aren't ready to handle such a threat right now. I mean, it, def it definitely get, does get shut down by, like, multi-hitting attacks, but there's, but who really is going to go for a multi-hitting attack on turn one? Mm -hmm. I mean, Cloyster takes his turn with, sh with Shell Smash and all that. Not to mention, it's faster than Cloyster at the beginning, like, before the speed boost. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so it's, it, it, it can paralyze you, by the way, too, with a nuzzle. Instant paralyze. It's, it's Thunder crazy. Thunder Wave and all that. Crazy Pokemon. So. I think it says it no you for me, but uh, I, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, definitely. So up next is, we gotta speed through this. This is a very long video. Camera? Ca uh, no, Maynard Trick has moved down. No, another, 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 oh, another, 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 another,
And OU, it didn't have much of a place, honestly. I saw it very rarely, and when I did, I beat it so easily. <laughs> <laughs> I beat it with either one of my Pokemons or with a, a Scarfer, you know, Scarf Quake. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of that story. That's, that's, that's the thing. For that. Definitely, really, the main thing that, that gets me with with Mega Manatric is its is its ability. I mean, yes, I, I know Intimidate's a good ability, but the fact that it has it on you, that Pokemon, it had, it, you have to get you have to use your Mega as uh, an intimidator, intimidator. Uh, when it's literally like, when it's literally like tens of other mons or maybe even hundreds of other mons that can do that job do to do it have the same purpose like Gramble or and, and all that you could even run a snubble I'd rather run a snubble <laughs> <laughs> over a <Mega> trick <laughs> <laughs> I never really used Mega Man at trick honestly I wasn't really I'm not, the, I'm not really a man overheat person. on it is pretty good overheat on uh, yeah that, I think it'll do good in, in, in uh, its new tier so welcome to you you welcome to you you all as long as I'm joining your other fellow Megas down here, you're just gonna be littered with Megas after this. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Uh, camera. So, so now, uh, so uh, well, yeah, here's, here's another Mega that's not gonna be in you. You Mega Camera moved down from you to are you? Makes sense. Mega Camera, while it is a strong Pokemon, I it's too slow and it's quad weak to water. Scald is everywhere. I I can't approve, but uh, I like the switch, the change it, that they made. Let's um, see. So I used to use Mega Camera back in Gen Six um, for a while, I believe. I also used it in Are You Said as for my Mega. It they performed pretty well. Fl um, what's it? Um, Flamethrower really hurt like hurt hurt Mons, even Bronzong. Well, obviously Bronzong, but um, Bronzong was known as at least for me, it was always known as um, like the Gardevoir of Are You, where it would, you know it would set up screens. That makes sense. It would set up screens like um, like clay, and all that. With light screen and uh, and that, so that, that I, at least that was on my experience. Also, I think I ran a mixed attacking one, or um, I had Earth Power over Earthquake, but that is but that that's that. Um, so I, as Carl said, the main weakness of it is its quad weakness to water, and he said Scald is really literally is everywhere. Like everywhere you see, you're you're going to be to a Scald user because of its. It's a it's a good move. It's called a good move. I don't blame anyone for using it. I use it whenever I can. But I mean, I mean, it doesn't get burned. But yeah, it's probably not gonna give a crap about being burned when it's dead. <laughs> it's not really gonna care about that. <laughs> that's, that's a good switch. Gotcha. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so we got Heracross moving moving from Borderline Two to Yu Yu. Normal Heracross, not Mega. So it's moving up. So I think so. Yeah. Uh, good switch. Uh, once again, the guts is too strong for. The people below Yu Yu to handle, so I guess they threw out all the guts users in Yu Yu. <laughs> Yu Yu couldn't handle guts, so like now we gotta fix this. Or yeah, no, yeah, the tears below you couldn't handle, so no, they, all the all the guts users are now in Yu Yu. Welcome to Yu Yu. Yu Yu is gonna be crazy after this. Mox, There's a yeah, whole bunch of mega guts love users the everywhere. Power. The tears bringing in a lot of power. So that's yeah, my defense game. I um, <laughs> um, Moxie. I, that's the only set I, said, I see running. Scarf Moxie, Joy or, Scarf, Close or, Combat. Or Guts, or Guts, um, or Guts too. Guts is also a really nice one. F Flame Orb, Guts. yeah, Facade. Yeah, and then Close Combat. Sword yeah, Dance definitely. even, still. On top of that Guts, imagine, boy. Ooh. Yeah, this thing, yeah, I agree with this change. Definitely, I definitely. I don't use, um, I, I don't use Normal Heracross all that much. I usually use the Mega Form better. I don't even use it as a... I use, I use normal Heracross more than it's Mega. Yeah. I actually, I actually move for Pinsir person than Heracross, but I, I'm a Mega Pinsir person. Yeah, <laughs> that's where we differ. I mean, Mega Pinsir is going. Mega Pinsir is actually one of my favorite Megas, but we're getting off track here. But yeah, next guy. Next guy. So, uh, Heracross. Yeah, welcome to you. Uh, Nido Queen is an R U now. So moved down. And moved from you, you what's to Nido King. Nido Queen. No, but what's Nido King is in you, you. That makes sense. Uh, Nido Queen was literally just a weaker, a weaker version uh, version of Nido King. It has more bulk, but it doesn't have enough bulk to tank things. I think. Yeah, if it's just compared to Cyber Let's see, Nido King. Nido King. Uh, yeah, it's a little. Yeah, it's a little bulkier. It's a little, it's a bit bulkier, but the bulk doesn't really complement it. Like over on over the on the the bulk would just kind of define like it being O code to it living on, on like two percent HP. Yeah, so no, nah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I agree with the switch. You know, it's it's a fine Pokemon, but it doesn't. It Nido King does its job so much better. So. Nido Kings are monster if put in the right hands. 
Yes, and uh, I think this is good though. I mean, for now, this is it, yeah. it'll, it'll probably stay in the, its its new tier right now. For so a, for a while at least, yeah. Yeah. Next one. Uh, so up next we have Mega Arno from RU to NU. So I think it actually moved uh, down. Right. Yeah, it moved down to NU. Uh, that makes sense. Mega Arduino is trash. Um, Bro, I use it. Mega Arduino is trash. <laughs> Bro, have you not seen that vid that video I did? Longest I, Pokemon battle. It's, it's, it's an okay Pokemon, but I, I see why it went all the way down to there. Not a lot of people use it. Not yeah, a lot of people yeah. have the, the patience to pull off of Mega Arduino. I have patience, so. Um, <laughs> I like about its me. coverage. It gets really nice coverage, so be careful for that. It gets fire, water, ice. It gets everything. Yeah. Keep in mind that, yeah... Now, definitely the the two most commonly used sets were Calm Mind Wish and Calm Mind Rest with like Moon Blast and um, Hyper, Voice. Hyper Voice or Toxic or whatever. I mean, you, you could you could do a lot a lot with this mod. As you can see, it really is good with taking hits. But um, really, if you can set up some Calm Minds, it's attack, it's a special attack. I mean, it's a mediocre special attack. But if if um if you really is with Calm Minds or or na even nasty, I don't think you can get nasty plop. Just check there real quick. Probably not. No, I don't think so. Nah, it doesn't bust. Okay, so Calm Mind's really on Swarm. So yeah, this thing can really be a monster if you really don't kick, take care of it properly. Yeah, it's weak to poison fighting. Uh, it's not weak to fighting. No, it's it's only weak, weak to steal and poison. Yeah, it only has the fairy weaknesses. But um, in, what's it, are you, is it now? Yeah. Are you? Oh, oh and you. And you, yeah. Wait, because I know some of them haven't gone through it yet. No, it's an you, yeah, so. I mean, you don't really don't steal, don't see them as much. I mean... Normal muck might give it a problem, but e even I've held my own against normal muck. If you hit, Alolan muck is definitely gonna give it a problem. Alolan muck, but yeah, that, that's all. That's why all all the element and oh, you we're talking about are you? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rest in peace, regular muck. <laughs> I will. You will never. Oh, rest in spaghetti. Never, never spaghetti. Forgetting. You will never be forgotten. Alright, next one. Alright, so next we got Unbound Hoopa actually moving down to you. You. That's scary. That is. <sighs> that is. That is scary. That's I, something on its own. Yu Yu's is, is going to be a completely different meta at the, at, at the end of this. Yu Yu's is going to be its own thing. Yu Yu might just be the new wave. You know, screw all you. I, I think it's going to take over the popular. the popular. Because uh, I know uh, all you by consensus is the most popular tier this game has to offer. But I, I see a lot of stuff happening for Yu Yu right now. Um, I disagree with this change so much. Matt, on multiple levels. I don't give a crap if it's four times weak to bug. Yeah, me neither. Honestly, you you slap a choice scarf on this boy and it it, it, it kills goes, everything. It goes to town. I mean, look at this monster special attack, one hundred seventy. That, that rivals stuff like that's without Investment without investment. That's without that rivals stuff like Zerkatry. That's insane. I can't. It, I it, this thing's gonna be running everywhere in Yu Yu. Honestly, it's probably gonna get quick banned. Uh, hopefully it does. I don't want to see this. Thing. I honestly think that she thinks this thing should be in Ubers. Honestly. This thing should be Uber zone. Or OU, game. OU at most. OU at most. I mean, I don't see it on OU teams that often either. But people have other, other people ha just want to run other things. But yeah. honestly, it, it is powerful. I just think it's too powerful for you. You. We'll see how it works out. But I personally think it's gonna get quick. Yeah, we It's definitely probably gonna get quick banned because this thing is an absolute monster. Next one. Next one. We're almost down here, folks. Hang in there. Another you you man wrote on washing machine. Which is uh, probably the m most useful. Um, useless now. <laughs> no, 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 I mean the most common, most common road on form because it's pretty. It's good. It's bulky. Yeah. Um, that boy thick boy. <laughs> but uh, it's usually usually see it as um as a supporter will o wisp Um, sometimes it runs choice scarf God, trick. I hate <laughs> And yeah, no, it runs a lot of cheese no, strats. I'm a road on lawn, actually, lawnmower person myself, honestly. I'm a lawnmower person myself, too. I, I like running the choice car without a leaf store. I, I ran leaves from a dominator for a while. But, you yeah, know, uh, the cheese strats with Rotom Wash, I think UU is a good place for it. Uh, OU, I think it'll still be used in OU, surprisingly enough. I, I, I remember playing some OU games where Rotom Wash was there. I think that people are just going to use it in OU just because it's a great Pokemon. Bulk, it's really nice in bulk. Um... I don't know. I, I we'll see how it works out, but I I definitely do not mind the switch at all. Welcome to you, you. Welcome to you. As long, along with Hoopa Unbound. No, nah, that is no <laughs> way. You can leave. <laughs> the GTFO. All right, so Serena, another uh, mon who really is used on much is an R U now. Serena, why does that name sound familiar? Serena is oh. this thing. Oh the shit! Thick the thick, thick Rena. Thick Rena. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. This Pokemon is pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, all things aside, it has good it has good attack. I'll, I'll give it. A, it's 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 an. It moved down. 
It's in Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah, it moves down. Uh, Serena was an interesting Pokemon. It got Rabbit Spin, so it could be a Rabbit Spinner. Yeah, trap, trap Kick is trap interesting, kick. although not broken at all. But it, it does it does have good attack. I like though. Choice Band. The Choice Band set A one, and then the Assault Vest set actually is really nice. Assault too. Vest would actually be a pretty you good. You could survive ones. Ice Beams, and, and that flame speaks a lot. Flame yeah, throwers, maybe. And ice flame beams. Throws, so that speaks a lot of volumes that when you can survive your super effective hits. And yeah, you know, eating something, right? Yeah. So I, I, I welcome to our are you right? Oh yeah, definitely. Welcome so welcome to our welcome to our user, you know. I don't really have a user's mind, so I really have no opinion in it. And last but not for, certainly not least, an hour freaking later, is Zygarde ten percent, aka Doggo Zygarde, is an RU also. Doggo Zygarde, that's actually gonna be I I don't like the switch. That's the literally oh, one I of the forgot it doesn't have a sprite. That's one of the reason. most powerful ones probably. Uh, yeah, you, you, you've been teaching me how to use it. Um, the Choice Band set is kind of scary. The Dragon Band set with the Focus Ash, it's even scarier. You can even run Steelium Z with Iron Tail. Dude, oh, this thing <laughs> brings destruction wherever it goes. I think it was good in UU. It just didn't see its usage, but I think it should stay in UU for balancing reasons. Yeah, yeah but I, I could see that. Um, but definitely, um, it, let's see, Quad Ice it was just going to give it a hard time with Ice Punch. It doesn't have the best defenses in the world, so it's probably going to get an O code like Ice Punch. Yeah, no, but uh, I, you're going to have to find something that's faster than this yeah, thing, because this thing's thing, speed here is really nice. It has really nice speed. Uh, Ice Shard should be able to take care of it, because it's frail. Possibly. It's, it is really frail, so... So Ice Shard should be Maybe like good. something like Regice, Glaoey. Mm-hmm. Well, I think and that's that, pretty much it. Be, oh, well, 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 before that, um, I need so... Any, is that any, like, post any, notes? Any to... And well, first of all, welcome to Are You Zygar. You're probably going to get banned, but... Who kn who knows? So well, yeah. This is now the new meta. Lots of, lot, well, Yu Yu's gonna be an absolute hellhole after this. Yeah, understandable. We just move that up. We can just move that up. <laughs> there we go. Jesus Christ. There we go. Now. So uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry for a really long video. We really we actually didn't think it would take this long to cover like. I thought we were gonna be done really quickly too. Yeah, but, uh, I know. We we I don't know. We can find somewhere to shave this down. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on. I yeah, love no talking about Pokemon and. Yeah, no problem, man. I cannot wait to bring you guys probably maybe some battles. Yeah, we we we'll definitely should like record some battles in the some future. Some battles with a new meta. I definitely am excited to make new Yu Yu teams. Is here because here's the thing. Yu Yu was what. But seriously, thing, Yu Yu's always been a personal favorite of mine. Just like there's so many me too, ones, me I'm, so many ones I like are in the Yu Yu team. Like Zorbert's my favorite Pokemon. Like, it's there. I'm too. I, I I don't like playing OU personally. I think it's way too easy because people are too predictable on OU. Yeah, that, that, that's where all the tryhards are. Yeah, that's where all the tryhards are. <laughs> but Yu Yu, which is why I'm advancing so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in in Yu Yu, I've definitely seen a lot of people, you know, having have a little more freedom, a little more space to move around and experiment. Lots of lots of new mods in Yu Yu, so we, we yeah. got to be some matchmaking things. I what do you think? Um, what are you think? Weather weather teams are going to be like a really big impact in. Yeah. Mm, not in Yu Yu, but in OU, that the reason why a lot of things like for Kingdra, the only reason why Kingdra moved up that much was because of rain teams. Definitely. Um, but uh, I rain team right now is the like the the three leading playstyles right now are stall, rain teams, and uh, what's the other one? Um, ba balance is making a comeback surprisingly. Yeah. Two tanks, two physical attackers, and two special attackers. Everybody sounds like something I would do, honestly. Balance is making a comeback, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I like it. You know, we're in a good place in the meta game. You know, now if only you know stall wasn't a thing, that'd be nice. But uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't always get what you want, no, can you? That's true. So really, as this the, the really big takeaway about this is that you you just really going to be it's gonna, it's really going to take a lot of of changing changing to you from from that. OU is probably because OU probably hasn't changed. All that much, uh, even though there's stuff, you know, like Kingdra, Alola uh, Nine Tails, and Mega Altaria there. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure people are still going to run Mega Mega Scizor, Rothorn, and all that. But, you know, there's probably, there's gonna, there's probably going to be some people out there, i.e. me, that are probably going to test these new mods out, see how they work against it. Um, are you? And yeah, as you see, are you definitely have got, got some new mods? We got Serena, Quagsire, uh, Mega Obama Snow. You're probably not going to see him. Are you probably gonna be a really crazy place with Mega Bayonet running around everywhere, and much and guts Machamp running around, up? and maybe even Di Wow Daigo, D Doggo Zygarde running around running around there also. 
Yeah, those are going to be big threats. The, the, those are probably going to be the biggest one. You got, it's like support, Mega Bayonet, um, Band Aid, Zygar 10%, whatever. And you, uh, I, I mean, and you really only got Mega Otter now, so it's not really much to end you about that. Oh, and yeah, well, Mega Otter and Frost last, but you're probably still not going to see them. But it's probably, probably test them out. You, you, we, we already just it's going to be Hell Ho. Are you? I mean, it has Mega Camera up. You got Nita Queen. You got Quagsire, we already just talked about. Oh, we already talked about you. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm repeating myself. But uh, we got to end this video now. We're going on for an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's been fun, and I always love enjoy, enjoy, enjoy a good talk about the meta game. Yep, definitely. Can't wait to play. Yeah, we, so we got to get. Um, we got me. Uh, me and Carlos are gonna go help each other with teams right now. So. <laughs> have fun, everyone, and enjoy fun, the new everyone. meta. Enjoy uh, the new meta, definitely. This. What uh, a time to be alive, and we get to play in a in a game where. Where broken ass mons exist like this. <laughs> like Hoopa and down freaking you, you Jesus Christ. Well, see you guys. See you guys. This is, is Chow Just 99. Signing, signing out. Signing out. <laughs> signing out.